we must do everything in our power to prevent Iran from obtaining a nuclear weapon. And I, not, I do not believe that there is anyone on either side of the aisle who disagrees with that proposition. So uh, we come to the floor today to discuss a bipartisan amendment that I've offered with my friend from Illinois, Senator Kirk, uh, to limit Iran's ability to finance its nuclear ambitions by sanctioning the Central Bank of Iran, which has proven to be complicit in Iran's nuclear efforts. This amendment, the Menendez-Kirk Amendment, will impose sanctions on those international financial institutions that engage in business activities with the Central Bank of Iran. It is a timely amendment that follows the administration's own decision last week designating Iran as a jurisdiction of primary money laundering. In fact, the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network of the Department of the Treasury wrote, and I quote, the Central Bank of Iran, which regulates Iranian banks, has assisted designated Iranian banks by transferring billions of dollars to these banks in 2011. In making these transfers, the Central Bank of Iran attempted to evade sanctions by minimizing the direct involvement of large international banks with both the Central Bank of Iran and designated Iranian banks." Close quote. And the Under Secretary of the Treasury for Terrorism and Financial Intelligence, David Cohen, has written, and I quote, Treasury is calling out the entire Iranian banking center, including the Central Bank of Iran, as posing terrorist financing, proliferation financing, and money laundering risks for the global financial system." Close quote. So, Mr. President, the administration's own decisions clearly show that Iran's conduct threatens the national security of the United States and its allies. And the complicit action of the Central Bank of Iran, based on its facilitation of the activities of the government, its evasion of multilateral sanctions directed against the government of Iran, its engagement in deceptive financial practices and illicit transactions, and most importantly, its provision of financial services in support of Iran's efforts to acquire the knowledge, materials, and facilities to enrich uranium and to ultimately develop weapons of mass destruction, threaten regional peace and global security.